Hi everybody, I'm Amy Kramer, and you probably remember me from the first video where we laid out the eight phases of the event experience through the lens of safety, security, and comfort. At Merit's Global Events, we have been working towards sharing more content on our plan well, meet well approach, and are excited to continue this strategy with you. Today, we are going to be talking about announcing and attracting phases of our eight phases of the guest experience. These are naturally pre-event phases, which normally we don't think about guest safety, security, and comfort. But in this video, I wanna break down how we're gonna embed those principles into some new strategies for you so that you can make sure you're sending the right message and encouraging the right participation and engagement of your event. At the announcing phase, it is the first time that people are hearing about your event and they are going to be contemplating whether or not it's worth the risk of attending this event. A big shift in our strategy has been focusing our efforts on easing the perception for our guests. As people return to face-to-face -face events, we know that it's going to be our goal to make sure that they feel safe and secure. And we wanna bring that safety and security into the line with reality. And we're gonna really need to answer, how are you gonna keep me healthy and safe at this event? So we can do this in a number of ways. First, it starts with thinking about how people are accessing information about your event. And that's typically through your website or your registration. When you place information out on the site, we are helping you by thinking about redesigning that landing page for your guests. It could be adding a short video from your event organizer that communicates some of the changes that are gonna happen on site. It can also be having access to team members to talk about health and safety and providing that through a chat function or through accessibility on your website. It's also around creating a dedicated health and safety page. This can include a lot of information around FAQs at your event, things to consider, potentially different event formats that may be available to them during the event. We also want to set expectations about what people can expect and make sure that we're clearly describing what that experience will look like. We've also seen a number of our clients actually offer a guest services option where they can come and ask through a chat FAQs and or be dedicated to a direct line and offer questions and answers about the guest experience. Our next phase is the attracting phase. This phase has been so much fun in the past because we get to attract and really woo our audience. That is still important because we wanna create excitement, but as much as we want to attract people, we need to think through promoting purpose of an event. Purpose is so critical and clear and concise as we think about the return of events. We wanna make sure people feel secure and feel aligned to the purpose of that event because they are gonna take a risk to attend. So we wanna think about attracting in really three main scenarios. One, our clients and our guests are going to want to feel a sense of normalcy. That's one of the reasons that they're going to make that decision to attend an event. So giving them the control and having them feel free to make that decision is also going to help push them out of that cabin fever and really encourage them to get back, giving them that autonomy to travel. We also want to reestablish that social connection. Our events and our experiences are so much about connecting with people that when we think about that isolation that people have been in and the Zoom fatigue that they've experienced, looking for that psychological need to be with other people is gonna be critical to them making that decision and then honing in on the purpose of your event to create those social connections is going to be great. And the last thing that we wanna ensure when we're thinking about planning and executing a face-to-face -face event is reconnecting with all things that give ourselves life, purpose, and value. And when we look about every event at every event, they're very unique in nature. And starting with the intention and the focus on purpose of the event, even if it's an educational format or a networking format, connecting to that purpose is going to help people feel more comfortable, safe, and secure when they make those decisions. Your event purpose should also consider these drives and these reasons for creating your first face-to-face -face event. Connecting people will enable their needs to be met, and that's going to help create that assertion and that reason for them making the intention to attend. While both the announcing and attracting phases happen pre-event, we know that the attendee does commit before actually attending the event. 
And now we have a great opportunity to ensure that we reduce anxiety, that we build trust, and that we ensure comfort as people are making these decisions. Check out our next video that also talks in detail about our anticipating and arriving phase. You'll continue to get some great perspectives and some great ideas on how to embed these into your event. And we're really excited to see you back out there. Thanks for attending.